Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat again, and um, this is another quick tip. Uh, it's going to be a really quick one. Um, and this is about uh, controlling your animation timeline. Now, I'm sure everyone's probably aware by now about the shortcuts for it. You've got the usual ones. We've got F8, and that'll start playing. You press it again, and it will pause it. Um, just just to let you guys know, I've just set up a simple animation, a load of cloned objects with uh, um, some dynamic, with a dynamic tag on it, and I've cached the dynamics. Um, so we get we get this animation here. Okay, so we've got F8 playing stop. You can progress the um, timeline forward or backwards by frames by hitting the F key to go backwards, or you can hold it down the G key to go forwards and you can also uh, hold shift and press F that will go to the beginning of your animation and if you hold shift and press G it will go to the end of your animation and I think if you press control and F it will go to the keyframe in front and uh, control and G and it will go to the next keyframe but there is actually a way that you can scrub your animation from the viewport so normally you'd go down here you'd grab your uh, timeline marker and then just drag it and you'll scrub that way but you can actually hold down the J key and then click and drag anywhere in the timeline uh, in the viewport sorry and you can actually scrub by uh, doing that in the viewport so that's just holding the J key down and then scrubbing forwards and backwards in your viewport while clicking down uh, so that was a really quick one really quick quick tip um, as always, check out the Facebook page and the Twitter. Um, and if you'd like to support Digital Meat, there's a Patreon page, donation button on the website, and there's also a merch store. I'll put all of the links to those in the uh, description. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.